Hi, my name is Mariana Mahani and this week's gym stick tip is a great one. It's going to work your quads, you're going to feel it in the interior wall of your torso, you're going to feel this in the back of your arms, triceps, uh, posterior deltoid, rhomboids. So it's an interesting exercise because it incorporates front and back of the body, sort of weird. But let's talk about how to get into it. So grabbing hold of your gym stick, put two bands on one foot. So I'm going to put two bands on my left foot. So bend it over, put one band on, put the other band on. Okay, so that's where we begin. The next thing you need to do is place a stick on the floor in front of you. So sticks on the floor. And with the leg that you've just put the bands on, in my case, my left leg, <coughs> Take a really big step forward over the gym stick. Now that's going to create a triangle with the bands and the stick. So my right foot goes in that triangle, not over it, in it. So my foot's in the triangle. Then you grab hold of the gym stick and you'll see that you're now in the correct position. Stick behind your back, band on your foot in front, and I'm standing on my right leg, which is what I want. So adding tension, palms facing this way, you might need to add quite a lot of tension for this one because we're just doing legs to begin with. So palms facing away, stay up with your knee lifted, you're going to press that heel forwards. So think about pushing the leg down to the floor like a leg press. Now I'm adding a bit more tension on, ah now I can feel it, and you're going to feel this in the hip flexors as well as in the quadriceps. So you're going to feel it right through that whole um, muscle group, so pressing forward. So this is the front of the body here, as far as you're using your quads. So we do this for 30 seconds. Try to maintain your balance for that entire time, so you're not letting that heel touch the floor as you perform this exercise. And if you're an instructor, the thing that you want to look for is that people don't start holding the stick up like this to create tension. Get them to wind the bands up more and keep the arms long and lengthened. Yep, so the shoulders stay down. All right, so after we've done 30 seconds of this, we're going to take the tension off. You will need to take quite a bit of tension off because you're going to pull back as you push the heel down. Now this is when you start going, wow, I can now feel this in my abdominals. And clearly you're using your triceps and the back of your shoulders to pull the gym stick back. So pull back and release, pull back and release. Now if you also pull your shoulders back and forth like I'm demonstrating here, you're going to get an effective rhomboid activity as well. Woof! And press out. And again, you're trying to do as many repetitions as you possibly can without touching the floor. Perform that for 30 seconds. And then the final exercise in our trio, we start off in the balance position and we step forwards and we pull the stick back at the same time. So if you're an instructor, watch that people do pull the stick back. Quite often, they are so focused on this lunging forwards that they forget that they also need to pull the stick back. Now the torso, you've got to be careful that you don't start dropping the torso like this. So you want to keep the torso upright, pull the gym stick back, pull back, rolling right off that back foot and return back to a balanced position. That would definitely challenge your abdominals. And it's one of the things I love about gym stick is it's never just legs and it's never just arms. That your abdominals are incorporated in almost all of the exercises. I mean, there's very few gym stick exercises where you don't feel your abdominals involved. So as an instructor, I rarely ever have to talk about keep your abs on or any of that sort of stuff because it's happening automatically. So. After you've done 30 seconds of that final exercise, it's time to switch over. And all you do is place a stick on the floor and place the bands on the opposite foot and you're in the right position to get going again on the opposite side. So you've got quads, you've got abdominals, you're working the back of your body, great exercise, it's like a multivitamin and that's this week's gym stick tip.